Okay, so I'm here at the range and I've got the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 with the A -point, Apex, I believe it's the 154 trigger kit in here. I've got it set to the heaviest spring right now. The green, I believe it's 6.3 pounds. The purple spring, I just received a new sear actuator and replaced it and I'm still having jamming issues. It seems like it's intermittent, especially when I run it fast. So I'm going to go ahead and run this gun and see if I can't get it to do it. Dead trigger. Dead trigger. Dead trigger. Dead trigger. Dead trigger. Alright, so I've opened this pistol up and here is the interior and you can see when you pull the trigger, it's engaging. You can pull the trigger, push it over, it goes back in and engages. There's no issues here. And here is the green spring. all their pieces this here is a piece that they uh, they give you with the gun and the kit and back here is where the purple spring goes back in this kit you really can't see it it's underneath uh, it's underneath this part here but uh, I'm stumped I have uh, I'm having all kinds of issues with this I have done a, a video earlier that showed what was happening and um, it's, it's kind of alarming and I'm a little disappointed. I don't know what else it could be. Um, I've been in, in contact with Apex. I did ask them to take the gun back and I basically was told they don't have the time. So they sent me the part. I had the part put back in. Real simple addition, but it did not solve the problem. This is my daily carry gun, and I'm about to rip this trigger out of it and go back to stock. So anyone who's considering these 2.0 trigger upgrades, uh, tread with caution, especially if it's your daily carry.